Hey everybody, it's Leon. I want to do another absolutely simple network monitoring tutorial because the first one I did, which you can find a link in the show notes, uh, did one router, which is cool for a test, but it doesn't exactly mimic anything resembling a production environment. Now, I'll admit, I'm going to do three routers now, which is slightly more, but not exactly a whole bunch more. So, but once you can do three, you can do 30 or 300, it, you know, the technique doesn't change. But I did want to do this for people who are either network engineers who are looking to get into New Relic as a monitoring tool, or for people who use New Relic for application, tracing, logs, and they want to see if it's also appropriate for their network devices. So let's get into it. What I have here is a fairly simple three router setup. If you've studied for the CCNA anytime between now and 10 years ago, you probably are used to this. It's three routers. They are doing EIGRP in between all three of them. There's a switch in the middle that goes out to the internet. Nothing exciting there. I do want to show you a couple of things about this. Let's open up a console and we're just gonna make it take up the whole screen, hit enter a couple times. All right, so we're on the spring router and I'm going to show IP int brief just to show that each one of the routers has two interfaces, 00 and 01, that are routing in between uh, the routers in the triangle. And then also there's a fast ethernet interface that has some IP address that's been assigned by DHCP. Along with that, show run, include SNMP. You can see that SNMP has been configured. The SNMP read-only string is NR1GNS3. The other point I want to make is that the subnet that I'm going to be able to get to this machine on is the 122.0 slash 24 network. So uh, now if, if some of this sounds like I have no idea what you're talking about, Leon, I'm not a network person, that's okay. There's actually an entire tutorial that goes along with this and a blog post and even an ebook that's coming out to talk through all of these things. But for right now, now, the point I want to make is that you can see that this is configured. Um, let me shrink this down again, just because it's always fun to see the routers along with this. The other thing I want to do is uh, just make sure that I have connectivity between the routers. So if I ping, for example, uh, 10.1.2.2, I should move this out of the way just so you can see. Actually, let me just shrink this down and move it over. There we go. So uh, 2.2 is down here in the lower right corner and I can get there and ping 10.1.1.2 that's the lower left corner and I can get the other interface of that one that would be 2.1 so suffice to say I can ping all of these routers in the triangle and when I monitor them I'll be able to see not only the Ethernet interfaces that are connected to the switch but I'll also be able to see the status of all of these interfaces all around the triangle Okay, fair enough. Now, what do I need to do next? Well, if you watched the earlier tutorial, you'll know that I need to have either a Linux or a Mac OS box that is running Docker. So at the moment, let me go grab it. Here's my Linux box and I'll move this over here. There we go. And it is not running Docker. So I need to install it, sudo snap install docker. I'm going to put in my password. It gets my password. You don't get my password. The install is very fast and very easy. I'm not even speeding that up. That's how long it took. Next, I want to make sure that my username is in the group. So I'm going to do user, sorry, group add Docker. It's already there. Uh, user mod add to the group. What group? Docker. The user is dollar $user. Oh, whoop sudo. There we go. Now I'm added new GURP or new group Docker. That helps it take effect. Okay, so now I can run Docker commands. Fabulous. What Docker commands am I going to run? Well, for that, I need to go to one.newrelic.com. Uh, if you don't have a New Relic account, now is the time to fling yourself on over to try.newrelic.com and uh, set yourself up for an account. You get 100 gigabytes of ingest for free. That's free as in beer, not as in puppies. We'll never ask for your uh, credit card, so you're never going to be overcharged. In any case, I have an account and I want to add more data. That's in the lower corner here. 
add more data. What kind of data do I want? Once again, it's going to be SNMP. The SNMP, I can also do NetFlow. I can also do Syslog. But in this case, SNMP is just fine for me. It's going to be on Docker. What's the version? It's two. Unless you know it's not, it's two. What's the IP address range? Well, it's 192.168.122.0 slash 24. And the community string in our one GNS3. There we go. Validate that and continue. Yup. All right. I'm going to copy that command. Go back over to my window. Let me clear this just so it's easier to see. And I paste that command in. That creates a file, snmpbase.yaml. And this is going to do a scan of the entire network. Now, a little trick. Sometimes you have devices that either don't respond quickly enough or are giving you a hard time or they get skipped over for a couple of reasons. In normal production enterprise environments, that's rarely the case, but it does happen. So if you want, you can actually force the discovery to find every single device that you have. There's just one little tweak that you want to put in here. I'm going to edit that SNMP base YAML file and I'm going to go down into the discovery just past the debug line and I'm going to say check all IPs true. That will, as it says, check every single IP address, all of them, without skipping. Now you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to take forever. It actually doesn't take that long. This is a really snappy discovery process. Let me save that file. There we go. All right. Back in New Relic, I'm going to continue. This is going to pull down the Docker container and run the discovery. Okay, finish the discovery in about four minutes. That's not bad for 255 addresses. It found my three devices, and now I'm gonna to go to the next step. Let's go back to the window. There we go. Continue on. Copy that command. Go back to my SSH screen. And it's running, Docker. Yes, there's my Docker container, Docker logs, follow that container. And I can see that it's collecting information from all of the object IDs from all of the, which are for the interfaces and things like that. Now let's go back to our window. We're waiting to receive SNMP data. I'm going to cut here and pick up when we have some data to show. Okay, the initial scan is done. It's collecting some information. You can see I've got some routers on the screen here. R1 is from a previous demo that I did, but fall, spring, and summer are right here. They're collecting information. I can either click into each one of these devices individually to see how everything is going, including all the different interfaces. Right now, there's only traffic going on that one. However, I can also go when I'm looking at all my routers and I can say, well, show me the aggregate, show me uh, fall, spring and summer all together. And it will give me a collected view of all of these devices. Um, I'm not going to go into the different kinds of dashboards, depending on the device types right now. The point is, is that the setup is still very simple. You just need to have some network devices to monitor. You have to have an account on New Relic. You have to have a Linux or Mac OS box running Docker. And from that point forward, the install is just three commands. Do the scan and the data is right there for you. I hope this gives you enough information to get started with your journey monitoring network devices with New Relic. If you have questions, you can find me on the socials. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next demo.